This video highlights some basic settings that Moodle has to facilitate or to make easier the editing and modification of a course site. To what I'm talking about in this video is the settings tab and it's located on the left side of the screen and you'll have course administration, switch role to and mod profile settings. The main part that I wanted to go over is course administration and then a little bit about switch role to. Course administration will you will be able to edit the general course settings. Here you'll be able to change the full name of the course, the short name of the course. Change it if you want to have a course that has pre-set weeks, just topics that you can rename in any way you want to. If it's just one big block as a course, um, you can change that if you want to. Here highlights what they mean. Again, press the little question mark when you have a doubt. Uh, if you want a theory report, you can choose to have them there as well. Um, you can use different teams. Let's change it to uh, the College of Education Human Development team. Um, and the number of sections that you want. Whether you want those sections to be completely invisible or just in collapse form when they're hidden. Uh, if you want to allow people to add on roll through PeopleSoft in this case. And whether you want anonymous access based on a remote key. Um, finally, probably one that's, in my opinion, one of the most important things, especially because sometimes it's overlooked and it causes problems, is that your course needs to be made available for it to be accessible by people. So unless a course is made available, it'll be, let's go back and show you. See, the course is gray right now. That means nobody can access it by the instructors. It's about to change to blue because I'm changing the availability settings. Save it. Okay, so now you can see a couple things change. One is the team of the course, and now it's the CHD team. Apart from that, um, the course is now blue. This used to be kind of grayish, now it's blue. So, the next setting that we can go over is users. So, um, you can enroll users manually if you want to. I'll show that in a second. If you want to enroll, Say I wanted to enroll Peter Demuk. Demuk. So there we go, he has two accounts. We'll enroll him in this course as an instructor as well. But I will enroll this other account that he has as a student. So that's where you switch how you want to enroll them as, as an instructor or as a student or designer which is similar to instructor and participant which is similar to student. Um, they all have different rights and not only the instructor as it says you can grade but you can't really edit the format of the course. So now there are more people in the course. There are other enrollment methods such as auto enrollment and that allows you to link it to courses that you have or are set to teach according to PeopleSoft. Next you can set groups of students, you can create groupings. Um, you can also enable filters if you want to. You can select the gradebook and go see what assignments and activities have been added to the gradebook. In this case there are no assignments or activities in this course but they will all show up here. You can create different types of scales. Let's go back to the course. You can select outcomes as well and add the icons that are important for this course. Finally, one of my favorite ones is the backup tool. It allows you to back up a site and then you can upload the same site in a different Moodle installation. If you do not include users, then it backs up the site without user information, which is in a sense a clean site. It allows you to then upload it elsewhere. So if you have your own Moodle installation, which for example I, I have a couple of them, um, then you can download your course and re-upload it there. And basically it's just a file. This is on file name, it's an MBZ file, and that's the file you need to, to download and then upload elsewhere. Um, you can import the same way and restore. So you can import from a different course. So importing is from other courses. For example, these are all the courses I made before, and I could select them and import elements from them.
Okay, and then the restore function allows me to restore a whole backup, like the one I just made. Um, finally, there's the question bank, which shows you the questions that you have created for the course and based on the different categories that they are on. Last, there's a segment called course files. You can add documents here that you want to reuse within your course that you don't just want to add load in place. So there's two types of uploading. One is in place and one is through course files. Course files increasingly not as used as it used to be. And then finally, you can switch your role to student if you want to or other um, levels of entry. So now I'm a student view. As you can see, I cannot turn on editing, for example. It's a good way to test quizzes and other things within your course site. So that's pretty much it. That's how the settings panel works. Now uh, you can change your profile as well by going to edit profile. And that's more of the social network aspect within Moodle. You can set your name, last name, email, country, city, add a picture as well. I hope that was helpful. Uh, thank you.